the latest national and international stories of the day here in 10 minutes. That's after the news from where you are. Hello, good evening. US TV network Fox News has apologised for remarks made on air by one of its contributors who said Birmingham was a no-go area for non-Muslims. His comments sparked a storm of protest on social media and the Prime Minister called him an idiot. Andy Bevan has this update. It took a week, but Fox News has said sorry on air about the opinions voiced last weekend by self-styled terrorism expert Steve Emerson. There are actual cities like Birmingham that are totally Muslim, where non-Muslims just simply don't go in. Swift condemnation for his remarks came from within the city. I think for these so-called experts to say these things is insulting. And rose as high as the PM. This guy is clearly a complete idiot. Within 48 hours, Steve Emerson had retracted his words. I just want to extend and continue to extend my apologies to everybody uh, in Birmingham. But now Fox News presenter Janine Pirro has also apologized for what Emerson said. The guest asserted that the city of Birmingham, England, is totally Muslim and that it is a place where non-Muslims don't go. Both are incorrect. The most recent census data, which is from 2011, indicates 22% of the population of Birmingham identifies themselves as Muslim. Also, we could find no credible source. It indicates Birmingham is a so-called no-go zone. We deeply regret these errors and apologize to the people of Birmingham, our viewers, and all the been offended. Case closed? Perhaps. But whether or not that apology is accepted back here in Birmingham, only time will tell. Andy Bevan, ITV News. Birmingham and Solihull is to be one of six pilot areas where NHS 111 staff are able to deal with mental health phone calls more effectively. Currently staff in these centres help callers using an online process, but the new scheme allows them to refer anyone with a mental health query straight to a specialist over the phone. Dial 111, you can get through to a mental health specialist to help you in your hour of need. And often these are situations of life and death. Uh, if someone is in a situation of acute anxiety, it's really important that they get access to support straight away. Time now for a look at the weekend's football action. ITV Central Sports Report, sponsored by WeWantAnyCard.com, the Cash for Cars website. Stoke City secured three points at Leicester, but there was further disappointment for Aston Villa, who've now failed to score in over eight and a half hours of football. James Clark reports. Aston Villa knew how to beat Liverpool. They did it at Anfield in the reverse fixture earlier in the season, but this time was a different story. Fabio Barini put the visitors ahead after peeling away from the Villa defence. Paul Lambert's side created numerous chances but couldn't find an end to their goal drought. Despite Villa's best efforts, Ricky Lambert bagged a second for Liverpool. Villa are now without a league win in seven. 43 miles away, Leicester City's new record £9 million signing. Andrzej Kramaric started life on the bench. Leicester have been enjoying success recently but it was Stoke who broke the deadlock. Bojan's strike proved to be enough for the visitors to take home the three points. Three points would have certainly been Sir Jack Hayward's wish on the day Wolves paid their respects to the club's former owner. Four minutes from time, it was looking like the points were going to be shared. That was until David Edwards converted, dedicating his celebration to the man who was loved by the fans so much. Wolves capitalised to score a second, sealing the three points. Birmingham City were a goal up after eight minutes. Clayton Donaldson was brought down in the box and Paul Caddis stepped up and fired home. Leeds hit the post twice as they pushed for an equaliser. Good luck was certainly on Birmingham's side. Fortune eventually ran out four minutes from time and Birmingham dropped points for the first time since Boxing Day. Time now for a look at the weather forecast. Here's Amanda Houston. What's in store for today? 
ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Hello and a very good evening to you. So this wintry theme is staying with us over the next few days. More frosty nights to come. There will be a few more wintry showers in places, but on the plus side, some bright or sunny spells mixed in there too. Now for the rest of tonight, there's still the chance of the odd wintry shower, but for most of us, it will become dry as we edge overnight. We've got some long clear spells. That's going to allow those temperatures to fall well below freezing, so there will be a widespread frost. And with lighter winds, we could just see a few mist and fog patches forming too, taking some of us into a bit of a misty start today tomorrow now it will be cold and frosty out there first thing but it will start to brighten up and for most of us monday afternoon not looking too bad it's fine and dry some bright or sunny spells but you will need to wrap up warm temperatures really struggling we're looking at highs tomorrow of around two or three degrees and then on tuesday it starts off mostly dry but if you look out towards the west here this band of rain could turn to sleet or snow overnight tuesday into wednesday so we could see a dusting in places and we're still holding on to that very chilly weather so some cold days to come and some fairly chilly nights as well temperatures there below freezing bye bye itv local weather sponsored by center parks that's all we have time for this evening we'll be back within good morning britain from six tomorrow morning for now though from the weekend team enjoy the rest of your evening goodbye